Let me, uh, I'll start us off. Let me first start off by saying uh, uh, and thanking our, our student body, uh, our student section, our fans were outstanding again tonight. This is two weeks in a row. Um, they came early, they stayed late. Hats off to them. Um, they were they were definitely a difference when we needed when we needed a boost the most. Um, they were in it. They were in the game, um, and uh, we knew that that was one of our keys to victory tonight. That we talked about all week long is we had to give our students a chance to get in the game and give our fans a chance to get in the game. And what I mean by that is not literally get in the game as far as standing in line, but get into the game and get excited and, and help help build the momentum that we need. Um, and they did that tonight. So hats off to our student body. They were, they were awesome again. And uh, same way with our fans. Um, thought our guys uh, played well. Um, you know, uh, I thought uh, I thought North Texas had a great plan uh, defensively. Um, we uh, it took us a little bit to make a few adjustments. I didn't think we ran the ball as effective early on as we needed to. Um, and um, but but I think the story of the first half comes down to turnovers. Uh, we were very poor in special teams with a snap over our, our head and um, a fumbling on a punt return and then going in to score. Um, early on and, and, and not being able to uh, and turn the ball over and then not being able to convert inside the two-yard line. I thought our defense was uh, made so much improvements over one week. It was unbelievable. I thought they, they, they impacted the game. They impacted the quarterback. Um, they, um, they got pressure on him. I thought Coach Malone and his staff did a great job getting those guys prepared this week, um, and uh, I'm very proud of them. I thought our guys offensively, when we had to find it, we found it. And you know what? That's uh, uh, for a team that's been one and eleven, and a team that's that's looking for anything to build on from last week. When you're able to uh, trail in the second half, late in the second half, and find a way to win, uh, it tells you you're going in the right direction. And uh, because uh, again, North Texas, they 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 came in here for your first game, and and they were a lot of momentum, a lot of energy being being out there. So, uh, but I'm extremely proud of our guys. Um, so proud of that locker room. If you've never experienced a locker room after a win and watch a group of young men and, and coaches uh, celebrate, it's, uh, it's one of the rare occasions in life. I mean, it's a it very, very special time. Uh, those, those, those 10, 15 minutes right there, you're able to see the, just the excitement level of, of all the preparation paying off. And so uh, uh, that was fun. And um, I tell our guys all the time, uh, this game is meant to be fun, but the fun's in the winning. And um, we, uh, we're going to build on this one and uh, have fun tonight. And we'll, we'll talk about tomorrow tomorrow. So with that, any questions? Well, I, I, again, we, we, were, we were trying to make some adjustments, and, uh, and we were able to. But, you know, we really just needed somebody to make a play. I mean, we, we, were, we were having it. We were so close. Um, and if we just, just would hang on to the ball, I felt like we had an opportunity. I, I thought, obviously, Matt being able to keep drives alive with his feet was critical. Um, and, uh, you know, I, th I thought Xavier Jones settled in a little bit. I thought he found his groove right there late in the game when we needed him. Uh, the big third down conversion, um, the toss to their sideline, I thought was probably one of the, the plays of the game to keep the momentum going. Um, but, uh, you know, it, it was it was we can do this I mean, to add attitude on the sidelines. That, that was the biggest thing. I mean, you know, instead of going, oh, my gosh, are we really – we can win or we can do this. We, we, we can't be afraid to win. Let's go. And uh, But we got to go make a play. And, uh, and so that, I, I think it was just a, a combination of a lot of things just coming together. And no, no. Actually, Matt, uh, we we came into this game with with very few design runs for Matt. Matt got most of his on scrambles, uh, and obviously the big play was a pass, and he just he cut turned it up. He made a great decision. The guy was covered, and so he made a great decision with his feet um, to to turn it up and and uh, and go. So proud of him. Uh, again, we're we're uh, you know you you hate to have your quarterback leading rusher all the time, but but uh, when guys are pull the ball down and and make plays off a passing game, it's pretty tough on defenses to, to try to cover everybody and the quarterback. You got some other receivers going. How important was that? Well, it was important that we have a lot of guys play tonight. That, that was very important to me to make sure that we had uh, uh, some guys in the offensive line play, D-line play. Uh, our goal this week as a coaching staff really challenged our staff on playing a lot of guys. Uh, it was very important to me to, to get a bunch of guys in there to, to, to keep us fresh for late in the game. 
Um, and we were able to do that. I thought we had some, some, uh, some guys make some plays. Obviously, Raheem Malone made some big-time plays for us in the passing game uh, on some uh, uh, third-down conversions. But, but again, uh, uh, you know, playing a lot of young guys. My hat's off to our defense. I mean, you know, our, our guys created uh, – you know, we created some some turnovers and some key moments that we had to have. And uh, but again, I uh, I thought our guys are definitely defensively improved a bunch in one week. Yeah, you know, we talked all week about playing with good effort. I, I thought we played with good effort last week. I thought we played with great effort on occasion last week. Um, you know, I challenge our staff and, and our players that to, to – to, we've got to model what great effort is. And great effort's four to six seconds of relentless effort on that field. And, um, and so that, that was our challenge this week. You know, good effort fits in, but great effort stands out. And uh, we had to have some guys stand out. And in order to do that, you had to make some tackles in space. And I thought we did that tonight. I thought we tackled exceptionally well. Yeah, you know, I, I, I was uh, early on. I was a little disappointed. I, I thought that uh, uh, again, a lot of it. I'm gonna credit North Texas because they had a good plan. You know, this was their first game. We didn't have a whole lot of film on them, and so uh, they came in with a few things and, and doing a little bit of adjustments. And, you know, the biggest. You know, obviously, we were able to run the football for for however many yards, 100 and whatever it was, 200 and something yards rushing, 273 yards rushing. But you know, again. You know, as a coach, and I know Coach Fry in there as an offensive line coach, you want to you want to convert short yardage. You want to convert inside the two yard line. I mean, first and goal inside the five, and you got to convert those. You got to score touchdowns in this league and at this level. And we were unable to do that, and we and, and, and we turned the ball over. So we were lucky in some in some regards. We had to have some guys again find it deep and make some plays. And so. Um, that that'll be something that we'll definitely pinpoint and and, and uh, point out to our to our guys, and they they take exceptional pride in. It. They were very upset on the sidelines when we weren't able to convert, but uh, but again, I, I love to see the way they they rallied and they responded. Again, when you're trailing late in the third quarter, for fourth quarter, and you're able to find a way to win, that that's that's a building moment for us. Well, it was to keep everybody calm, number one. Um, you know, there was no need to panic. Our defense was playing well. Um, we were struggling, hanging on to the football. So I know Coach Mathis was addressing that with the running backs. And and um, and it's not like a running back goes out there and tries to fumble. It's just, a, you know, had bad ball security a couple of times. And, you, and again, when you're talking about for true freshmen, the game, the speed of this game changes at this level, and so uh, the hits are a little bit harder, and and you got to you got to protect that football. So that was the biggest message: is don't change what we're doing. We got a great plan. It's just we got to go out and make some plays, and that, that was our message at halftime. We talked about we were in a fight, and my, you know, I had three key points to them at halftime. And one, we're in a, we're in a, we're in a fight, and you got to love it. You got to absolutely love the fight that we're in. Um, and and you got to be able to come out and and uh, and you got to play you got to execute. That was the second message, and 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 then you, the way you do it, the third message was we do it one play at a time. And so that's that was our focus. Just focus on one play at a time. And uh, uh, so that that was kind of our message at halftime. It really wasn't a panic. Nobody was hitting a panic button. So how hard was the decision to take the field goal off the scoreboard? Yeah, it was tough. It really was tough, and and I really thought about not doing that. Looking back on it, I wish I wouldn't have, but that's just part of it. And but again, our guys, our our guys were saying, "Let's do this, coach. Let's do this." And and uh, you know, for a team that's 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 scrambling for their, you know, to to, to try to get something on the board, get something going, um, you know, hey, that that was a decision that I made. And, but that was a uh, that was. Uh, <laughs> it was great. It was awesome. I mean, it was a packed house in there. Um, you know, I, I had our guys last night. I wanted them visualizing themselves and what dance they were going to have in the locker room afterwards. Literally, I, it was kind of my last last meeting with them last night was visualize themselves winning and the celebration that we're going to have after the game. And um, and that's what it was. So it was fun. It was neat. And, um, you know, it was something that uh, I, want, I want these guys to get used to around here. Yeah, it was. It, it took my breath. Um, I actually was. I, I was talking to Craig James, and and uh, I saw Craig's eyes get real big, and I thought either somebody's fixing to hit me in the head with something, or they're going to dump me with water. And uh, and so it was Gatorade. But I'm a little sticky right now. But that's uh, that's okay. That's a fun fun uh, celebration.
turnovers and then all the turnovers they got in the second half. How encouraging has the defense been so far? I thought from last week to this week they made incredible strides. And uh, again, they played with a lot of guys. They tackled well. They covered well. They made. They created some turnovers. They played with some confidence. I thought Coach Malone had a great plan and his staff uh, of bringing pressure, moving the front, and doing some things to disrupt uh, uh, the quarterback. And uh, so again, you know, it, it was it was it was great. They, you know, it, it was truly a team effort. That's what you like to see. The defense had to help the offense. The offense had to rally at the end to win and uh, and pick everybody up. So it, it was great. But uh, I'm, I'm extremely proud of these guys. If you could take an MVP. Oh, wow. <laughs> Wow, I, I would I would have to say our defense right now. I mean, I, I'd have to go look at the film, but there's so many guys that made plays tonight and 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 really stepped up. But I I, I hats off to my our defense right now because they they kept us in it. They really did. Um, when it uh, when we had a chance to to really go ahead early in that that in the first half and we were unable to do that, those guys held on. So did you a game they did actually they did so. Uh, um, our athletic director Rick Hart and President Turner were in there, and and they presented me with a game ball after the game, and the board, a lot of the board of trustees were in there, and that was that was really neat to see, and the guys were excited about it, but uh, they beat me to the punch because I was going to give all our staff a game ball and and all the administration a game ball too for for believing in me and and uh, and to put together a staff that we have. So again, this is this is this is one of of many. Uh, we're excited and and we're very thankful. Um, that uh, that we're here at SMU and look forward to, to many more. Thanks a lot, guys. Thank you.